You Alamand look to the grand right and left. The right and left around the ring walk on the heel and toe. Just I do what you lady fair and I'll promenade her around the square. Promenade that mountain promenade. Now the head couples forward. You come back to the ring. You pass through and separate around the outside ring. Come back home and go to do it to your corner, Alamando. Come back to your partner. You swing them round and round. Alamand left on the corner. Now you walk right by your own. You swing the right and left. Dang it. Just listen to that rain, Zeb. Yeah. The wind's sweeping it right up again the store. Every time we get one of them west winds of the rain, she usually lasts for a couple of days of notice. Hmm. Won't be so good for Major Bond's air circus, will it? No, it won't be so good for this here bum knee of mine if I have to go the home in it. Yeah. The darn thing all is raises all fired tie nation every time it gets wet. Yeah. Well, say, why don't you stay here at the store tonight? Sleep in the cot in the back of the room. The one Hector used to sleep on. Uh, by cranky, that ain't a bad idea, Zeb. Guess I will sleep here at store tonight, then. Yeah, it's my just as well. No use of paddling through all that. Uh, 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 who do you suppose that is knocking? Oh, I suppose it's someone that figures the store is closed to count we got the front door shut. Well, uh, what you reckon we ought to do about it? Why, go open the door. Huh? I said go open the door. Oh, I never thought of that. Man, see. All right, all right. Keep your shirt on. I'm a-coming. Phew, boy. Oh. Kind of damp out this afternoon, isn't it? Yes, it is. My name's Horace F. Hyde. My cousin, Boye, the attorney, told me that you... How's that? I say my cousin, Mr. Boye, the attorney, told me you might have a job for me. I'm Horace F. Hyde, the... D- I didn't quite catch the name. You say... Well, it's it... a fair one, Jeff. Horace Hyde. I'm a... Well, mister, we don't sell horse hides here. We I mean... didn't say I wanted to buy a horse hide. I said... I reckon he means he's uh, selling horse hides there. Well, yeah, I said say we I'm... don't want to buy no horse hide neither. Land of Goshen, what would we do with a horse hide? We couldn't use it for nothing. No, you're all wrong. You're well, a... Well, certainly you are, Zeb. Uh, we could use a piece of horse hide to nail over that there worn place on the counter. Now listen, my yes, cousin... Yes, it'd be pretty dad darn expensive, wouldn't it? Uh, no, uh, no, no, listen. See, it wouldn't cost so much. All we need is a little piece. It won't cost much at all. Uh, my well, cousin, the attorney, sent... See, just 30 cents. Well, I don't know, Ed. That's sure. That's come on, sense. come on. Where do you guys figure your... What to say? I said where. Where? Where do you... Yeah, that's a fact, Deb. Just think how it'll wear. Well, maybe, maybe it will. I don't know. Say, you're the dumbest guys will. I've seen yeah. for years. That's right, for years. It'll wear for years, Zeb. Oh. Yes, I guess you're right at that, Zeb. Well, we'll take a piece of that horse hide, young feller. You know, uh, you're a dur- pretty darn uh, good salesman, you know but that? But I'm not selling horse hide. Huh? What? You ain't selling horse hide. No, I... Well, well then, uh, what in tarnation are you selling? Yes. I'm not selling anything. Well, I mean, a... now, that'll be just enough out of you, young feller, coming in here and giving us a long talk about horse hide just for a joke, taking up our time and... and but then just... I didn't say anything about horse hide. Uh, I you did. did. Why, of course you did. You stood right there and said that you... Was... I it... did not. My name is Hyde. A... Why? What? Say, are you deaf? Why? 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 It's my name. Eh? Well, how do we know why it's your name? Yeah, go ask your father. Yeah. I didn't ask why it's my name. I said it is. Eh? Shucks. He says he's Eb. First he says it's his name, and then he says it's his age. Yes, now we don't want to bother with you, young fella. You better be on your way, or, or we'll... Hey, we'll him. give me a chance to talk, will you? Yeah. My name is Hyde. Hyde. 
I'm an aviator. What? My cousin, Mr. Boyer. Oh, well, Shay, why in perdition didn't you say so? You're the fellow that lawyer Boyer was speaking of. The, uh, the fellow that's going to take Hector Smith's place in that airplane, huh? Yes, yes, I'm the guy. Oh. Well, uh, why couldn't you say so in the first place? Instead of beating around the bush. Yes, well... What's the dope on this job, anyway? Oh, yes, well, <clears throat> uh, there ain't much to it. Uh, you see, um, a friend of uh, signed a contract to go up in an airplane, but but uh, he can't fly. No. No, so uh, we're sending the fella to go up firm, you see. Well, where does he hop off from? Where does he go up from? Some place right here in town? No, no. Uh, the place about halfway between here and Squidville on the, on the left side of the road it is. You can't miss it. You got a car? Yep. Yes, well, I tell you, then you... you uh, just drive over there and, and ask for Major Barnes and tell him you're going to take Hector Smith's place. And... Say, Zeb, uh, you go ahead and talk to him. Uh, I'm going to get that bed ready in the back room. Oh, yes. All right, Zeb. Just go right ahead, Dean. Ask for Major Barnes, huh? Yes. I don't suppose his first name happens to be Robert, does it? Yes, it, it certainly does. An Englishman? Yes. Why? Do you know him? Know him? Well, not personally. But I guess just about everybody in the whole air service knows about him. You don't say. He's the guy that saved Paris. Oh, yes, yeah, so I hear. Yes, yes. Yes, Jim. Um, well, I want to get along there before dark. I'd better be steaming along. I'll drop in and let you know how I make out. Yes. All right, Jim. I'm glad you called. And um, I take the road straight ahead, don't I? Yes, right straight ahead. That's it. Good night. Good night, yeah. Hmm. Still a porn. I yeah, sort of hate to go home in it myself tonight. Oh, Ed! Ed! Now, in perdition, you suppose he went. Oh, um, uh, howdy, Hector. Oh, gosh, uh, gosh sakes. It's certainly raining cats and dog, ain't it? Yes. Yeah, I'm just saying to myself, I sort of hate to go home in it. Ain't got my umbrella here. Oh, shoot, uh, sure, that's too bad. Well, if I'd known that, I'd have brought you over my new invention. Why, you got a new invention? Say, have I? Say, that's a pepper. Yes, Let me tell you, Mr. Waiter, about um, a pepper. Hmm. You put it on according to instructions, and no matter how hard it's raining, you, you won't get a drop of water on you. Yes, no, sure, not one drop. Well, um, what is it, Hector? Sort of like a raincoat? No, 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 it's a... Um, it's, uh, well, uh, it's a kind of a cross between a pair of horn horn rim spectacles and uh, and uh, and a lightning rod. Yes, that's what? it. Uh, a lightning rod. Oh, uh, what you talking about? A pair of spectacles and a lightning rod. An outfit like that wouldn't keep the rain off you. Oh, is that so? Yes, that's so. Oh, well, it will, Mister. About him, it shows you're wrong. Well, I I'll tell you it. what I'll do. What? I'll send it over to you, and uh, and and you wear it according to instructions. And I'll guarantee you, you won't get wet. Yes. Well, how do you wear it? Well, uh, uh, first, uh, first you put on the spectacles. Yes. Okay? Then, uh, then you stick the you stick the lightning rod down the back of your neck, yes. uh, so uh, uh, so that it sticks up above your head exactly three inches. Exactly three inches. Huh? Uh, uh, yes, yes, three inches. And then, uh, and then, uh, well. Uh, then you stay inside the house till the rain's over. And then you stay inside the house. Uh, uh, say, now, that'll be about enough out of you. You didn't feel so darn funny the other day before me and Eb got you out of going up in that airplane, did you? <laughs> you were scared to death, that's oh, what Oh, shoot, shoot. I wasn't scared about going up in that airplane at all. Mm, no, I bet you wasn't. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't, I tell you. Because mm. danger means nothing to me. Mm. Why, I just laugh at danger. Ha, 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 ha. Just like that. Mm. I went right into a lion's cage once I did. A lion's cage? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right into a lion's cage. And when you go into a lion's cage, when I first went in there, I made up my mind I wouldn't show any sign of nervousness. So you know what I did? What did you do? I, went, I made up my mind that when I got in there, I'd look that lion right square in the eye. Yes. Yes, sir. Right square. Square in the eye, I'd look that lion. Yes. And so I went up, I grabbed a hold of the door. Yes. I flung the door open. Yes. I stepped inside. Yes. And uh, did you look the lion right square in the eye? Oh, shoot, no. There wasn't any lion there. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I figured it was all a darn fake in the first place. If you was... Uh, say, was that the wind rattling that door or what do you suppose? Hey, open this door, will you? Well, gosh, it sounds like Mr. Peter. Yes, I reckon the darn lock must have sprung when you come in, Hector. 
Why, you dirty old fool, what you doing standing out here in the rain? You're soaked through. Get inside here. I ain't standing here. I've been home. Home? Yes. I thought you was going to stay here at the store tonight and count the storm. Well, I am. I'm going to sleep here at the store. I just went home to get my nightshirt. 